In this video, we'll cover how we can use your advertising credits in Infinity Traffic Boost. First, you need to go here to the Get Exposure section. Let's open this up. And you can use your advertising credits with Promote Pages, whereby one page view for 15 seconds, 24 hour unique, will cost you one advertising credit. Then you have the Text Credits section and Banner Ads section. Now with text ads and banner ads, you will only pay 10 credits when somebody clicks on your ad and there is no cost involved for displaying your ad at all. So you get only charged 10 credits every time somebody clicks on your text or banner ad. Now for more details on how to add pages here, text ads here and banner ads in this section here, keep watching. Let's start with promote pages. To add a page in here, you click on the Add Campaigns URL and keep in mind that the number of pages that you can add will depend on your current membership level. So if you purchase, for example, TPO1, you can put up to two pages in here. If you bought TPO2, up to three, etc. For a total list of how many pages you can add, depending on your membership level, check under Add-ons and then Buy Advertising Credits. There will be a table that explains how many pages you can add depending on your Purchase. Let's go ahead, let's click now on Add Campaign URL. When you add a URL here, make sure it starts with either HTTP or HTTPS. Let's put one in here for example, .com. and once you entered it, you need to click here on URL Tested. It actually tests now that the page can be loaded in a frame, that's the way we display pages here at ITB. As you can see, it displays properly and the text was successfully done, now you can click on Save Campaign URL and you're all good. Now what if you add a page that makes trouble? Let's say for example you want to add a Google page and Google is for example not allowing to be loaded in frames. Then you get an error message saying that it can't be loaded in a frame and the reason why in this case it's the X frame options that prevents that. Also if you add a page here that has a frame breaker it will be detected so you can't add them here. Now there are some pages out there where we can see that they can't be loaded but they don't fail these X frames or frame breaker tests. So if you have a page like that and it says page test failed and it still loads at the bottom here then just simply wait for it to load. If it displays properly right here all is good and you can click on save campaign URL and you're done. Now if for whatever reason your page doesn't load here at all please do not add it because you will be just wasting your advertising credits that way. Make sure that the page that you are entering up here properly loads in this little iframe box here at the bottom. Let's move on to text ads and banner ads. In the text ads sections, you can simply add up to five ads by putting first in the target URL, that's the URL that you want the person that clicks on your ad to see, and the actual ad text. Once you enter them here, you can also select the color of the text, if it should be bold, italic, or underlined, etc. And then click on Save Ads. If you want to remove one of the ads, simply remove the content of the field, then click on Save Text Ads, and that ad will be removed. Let's move on to Banner Ads. Same as with Text Ads, you can simply enter the target URL here, that's the page that you want somebody to see that clicks on your banner ad, and the URL where your banner is located. So it needs to be uploaded to the internet somewhere to be able to use it. If you still have the banner on your computer, check out the push software for Mac or PC that will help you upload it to the internet. Again, same as with text ads, if you want to remove one of these banner ads, simply delete the target URL and image URL and click on save banner ads. Thanks a lot for watching this video, that's all you need to know to be able to use your advertising credits with Infinity Traffic Boost. Have a great day!